Using your favorite non-Nintendo Switch compatible gamepads on the Nintendo Switch is possible. You need to mod your console first, use the Mission Control add-on, and you are good to go. Let's get started. You can follow this guide as long as you have any modded consoles. You can do it on the V1, on the V2, the Lite, or even the OLED. You name it. The principle is simple. Modding is not always piracy. There are tons of valuable and beautiful things other than stealing games. So, to Nintendo and YouTube that always assume modding is harmful to the community, you can just f*** yourself. In this video, I'm using my Switch Lite. And currently, it is running Atmosphere via the head spec. Let's reboot the console to open Hecate. Remove the micro SD card from the console. Open the Mission Control GitHub page, click the Release tab, download the latest zip file, and save it to the desktop. So on the right is my console's micro SD card content, and I'm using my head spec. To install the Mission Control add-on, open the archive with WinRAR or Xeon Zip or use the Windows File Explorer and extract the content to the micro SD card. That's it, as simple as that. Put the micro SD card back to the console and launch either the SysMMC or the MUMMC. I'm using the MUMMC. Click the controller icon. Select change grip or order. Get your favorite controller, for example, the DualShock 4. Press and hold the PS button and the share button together, and let's wait for the magic to happen. Okay, cool. It is now connected. Let's test it. Now let's try connecting the Xbox One controller to the Nintendo Switch. Get into the Change Grip or Order page, turn on the gamepad, press the Sync button, and again wait. And let's test it.
How about using the DualShock 4 for Player 1 and the Xbox One controller for Player 2? Yes, that is possible. Connect them normally. So with the Mission Control add-on, you can connect the non-Nintendo Switch compatible gamepad to be magically compatible. For your information, not all controllers are supported. You better open the Mission Control GitHub page and read the description for more info about this stuff. Thanks for watching this video.